Hello everyone and welcome to another lecture. Let's continue with our uh, connection to the MySQL database and inserting values from our form. And um, so the first thing we should do now is we want to insert values that we type in our form to our database. And we know that everything in this script is working to connect to our database. So what I'm going to do is save this as connection.php and I'm going to create a new file. Okay. And this file is going to be is where I'm going to store uh, the script that will process all the um, validation of the form. Okay, so whatever the user types in the form will go through this script. Um, processing uh, form and save this as uh, processing.php. Okay. The first thing is to grab all the values that come from the form in variables that I'm going to create here. Okay. So the first should be the um, first. <clears throat> first name, but let me type f name equals. And since we are using the post method, we need to use the variable PHP post and square brackets semicolon. Inside the square brackets, you need to put the name that it's inside the input here, which is uh, F name. Okay. So you see that each one has a name. So this is what we're going to use on the post variable. So here we type F name and L name. And here we type post. Oops, L name, semicolon. And now we have the email gender, email gender. Okay, uh, email equals uh, the post and here gender equals post Next is uh, age. So age equals post age. And now we have the comments. Okay, so comments. Comments. Oops. That's it. And finally, H comments. And finally, we have the password. Okay. So these are all the values. Um, you can type here processing form values. These are the values that that will be uh, stored uh, with the post method. And then we can store them in our uh, database. Now, but before we connect to our database and inserting values, we need to do a little uh, condition here so we can avoid problems uh, related to security. And we are sure that the values that are coming through the post method are from the form and not from some uh, bot or hacking script. So in order to check that the form has been submitted, first we're going to type if and then we're going to use the server variable that comes with PHP and holds several values 
that we can use and one of them is the request method value okay so we have to type request method okay and this has to be equals to post okay so this is a condition where we say uh, if the server request method is equal to post so if the form has been submitted with the post method do this else echo and we can say some no form has been submitted save this and now here we're going to use another if statement so we can check if all of these variables have indeed a value stored in them so what we do is check one by one if something if something is stored by the user in the form because if not the user can type uh, first name last name and uh, the user can leave the email in blank and fill the rest of the form we need to check if everything is completed and everything has a value on it so this is basically a simple form validation it will not validate passwords or uh, if the email is a valid email we will leave that for later on but it's a simple method that you can use just to check if the user types something so let's type if and we're going to use the function is set okay so the function is set basically checks if there's a value set in this variable the variable we need to open a new parenthesis the variable is going to be uh, f name l name email sorry uh, email uh, gender age comments and a password and that's it basically with this simple function we can check if everything has a value on it and now curly brackets and here let's type include and the file we're gonna get is the connection file okay to start connecting to the database so unless the user fills up all the values in the form we will not get into this part okay to include the connection and starting certain values on the database okay first of all we need to check if there's a request method post from the form if the user click the button to submit the form then we check all the values of the form if none of them is missing and we can create an else statement here in case that some of the values are not submitted and here we can type echo please fill all values of the form okay now we need to change something in userform.php which is the form action which is the file that will process the form it's not handle.php is processing.php method post so let's go back here let's say I go directly to processing.php through the URL and now you understand why do we need to create a NIF condition so we can avoid some hacking so if I type process.php sorry uh, processing okay so no form has been submitted we have a bunch of errors but we know that we cannot process the form okay so if we go back here 
actually uh, all of this should be inside the condition after the post request here okay so let's delete all this and let's repeat the process so if we go here type processing there it is no form has been submitted we cannot process this script okay now uh, let's go to the form so uh, user form PHP and click submit uh, please fill out all the values of the form and we have some errors here already in line 7 and line 9 uh, gender and L a name okay so let's go back here and go to processing okay we have this is wrong okay so now if we repeat it let's click submit okay we have noticed undefined index gender in line 9 please fill up please fill all values of the form so don't worry about this notice I will tell you later how you can take this out it's not an important error for now so please fill all the values of the form so let's type here Victor uh, mail between 30 and 60 whatever and the password you can type whatever you want submit and okay something is wrong here okay so I found a little error here that I have it's L name and not L A N M E it's L name okay sorry for that so let's check let's go back here user form if everything is okay we should get uh, to here which has this uh, little echo saying you're connected to database so let's try it again mail type whatever you want here and here submit and there it is you are connected to my first database so yes we basically did everything and everything is working perfectly the only thing we need uh, is insert values to the database uh, after the connection okay here there's also another technique that you can use is very common you can use the script that processes all the data that comes from the form let's copy this you can use it in the same file or the same PHP file that has the form and how to do this well very simple in the top of the form or before the form let's paste this script that we had in the processing.php okay now this script can be pretty much the same we don't need to do any changes here the only thing you should change is instead of the form action the file that handles all this information in the form action field should be user form okay so it should be the file that has the form itself now let's try this and let's type user form PHP and you see that no form has been submitted so in this case we don't need this echo here okay you can type please complete the form okay I save this and up in here you can type error please complete all fields save this okay let's try this refresh okay here we have please complete the form so I can even give a uh, strong here you can even type sorry let's give a head of three let's go back refresh there it is please complete the form awesome save this okay so if we type Victor and email and here email and we 
forgot the password, you resubmit. Okay, so I also found out that there's a problem and the if statement with the is set, it's not working very well. And you can see this by going to the user form and you'll see that if we type here Victor and we left, uh, for example, comments in blank and password and we click submit, we still connect to the database. So this is an error. And in order for you to check this, and I can tell you why the error uh, exists, basically some of the post values are set even if they are empty. So in some cases we can return something from a form empty like password and comments as we did now, um, but it's uh, considered set. Um, in order to change this or avoid this problem, you can use the not empty function, okay? That will check basically if any of these variables are empty. So we need to do this for each one of the variables with the end operator. So empty L name and not empty email and not empty and not empty and not empty comments and not empty password. Okay, I think we're done. Save this. So if none of them are empty, we'll do this. If in case that some of them are empty, we'll do error, you left some values in blank. Okay, now let's check if this works. Finally, okay, please complete the form. So let's leave the first in blank. Last name, whatever, here, here, here. Okay, error, you left some values in blank. So let's complete this, submit, error, you left some in blank again. And let's complete uh, under password, submit, you are connected. Okay, so now everything is working perfectly. Um, there's also a lot of other ways you can check for um, a validation of a form. We will learn how to do that more specific validation later on the course. Uh, for now, you can use this uh, not empty function. And this is all for now. See you in the next lecture. Bye.